I'm Larry Kastenbaum. I'm the Washtenaw County Clerk and Register of Deeds. We have a combined office in Washtenaw County. With the, uh, in many counties, the County Clerk and Register of Deeds are two different people. But in Washtenaw County for the last uh, almost 30 years, it's been uh, a joint office. Uh, we have basically, as part of my, my office, is in charge of vital records, deeds, court records, um, uh, and elections. Uh, and those are uh, circuit court records, I'm speaking of. And so we have uh, a great deal of, um, we have millions of, of, of paper and, and electronic uh, records here. Um, the deeds office in particular has, deed, has deeds for the county going back to the 1820s. And, um, and we're, we take in, uh, uh, you know, 60,000 some a year uh, uh, at, at the current rate. Um, the, uh, we make those, those documents available to title companies and to the public uh, uh, for purposes of you know, title searching and, and, and those kinds of issues. Uh, we're uh, basically what, what it makes possible, you know, the land economy, all of the things that, that have to be certain before you uh, commit large amounts of money for a mortgage or a pro property transfer. Um, and uh, the county was organized in the, you know, 1827, I believe, and the, uh, the, uh, our records go back, in, in, in some cases that far, in other cases not quite so far, first to 1867. That, uh, it, it varies depending on, on, on when the laws were changed and when the uh, records were collected. The circuit court files go back to the beginning of the county, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, deaths and, uh, to just to the, uh, after the Civil War. Um, and we're, uh, we're located at 200 North May across the street from the courthouse, although uh, the court employees are actually in the courthouse itself across the street at Maine Hero. Okay. What do you do at your office? Well, I, I'm in charge of all of those activities I mentioned. Uh, I have a number of chief deputies who then have supervisors over in the, these different areas, the uh, uh, records office, the, uh, you know, the deeds office, the elections office, and the court services office across the street. Um, and the, uh, uh, and I'm, so I'm involved in, you know, working on, the, you know, with, with, with the with administration on the budget, uh, and the Board of Commissioners uh, sets fees and so forth and uh, sets the budget for the office as, as the county administrator and so forth. Uh, and uh, obviously I do a lot of the public outreach and public relations for the, uh, for the office. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, I'm elected every four years. I was elected in 2004 and I was unopposed for re-election uh, last year. Congratulations. Thank you. Speaking of fees, what is the transfer tax, and how do you play a role in transfer taxes? When so, when someone brings a deed in that is that is uh, subject to transfer tax, and we collect the uh, transfer tax, which is uh, set by state law, and of that it's a dollar ten per thousand uh, in in the transaction for the county, and the state transfer tax is seven fifty uh, uh, per thousand dollars of, of value in the transaction, um, and uh, and and then those those. Th those monies, they don't stay here with us. They go out. They go to those relative respective entities, uh, and the uh, uh, transfer tax revenue is part of uh, is part of what keeps the, the county and the state going and so forth. The uh, uh, transfer tax, as the economy has 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 suffered, the transfer tax uh, uh, revenue has also suffered. Although I, we're starting to see a little bit of a comeback. Uh, 